Welcome back to my YouTube channel or simply just welcome if you are new. My name is Georgia and I am a professional nail artist. So I just want to apologise because it's been a hot minute since I've posted last on my YouTube channel. I don't know, I got a little bit demotivated. I feel like I would create these videos which take hours and hours to create because of like the content and editing the videos. And then I felt like nobody really watched them and I didn't get really good feedback from them. But I have bought myself a new camera, which is what I'm filming on at the moment. So I'm really excited um, to see the quality of the videos and it's actually made me excited to start filming YouTube videos again. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've seen a few makeup artists do this trend on um, YouTube and also on TikTok. I've seen a few nail technicians do this trend on TikTok, so I definitely had to join the trend. So basically I took a picture of my nails with no design on top and I posted it onto my Instagram story. I also sent it to a few close friends of mine. So the trend is um, whoever wants to join in has to screenshot this picture and doodle a design on top or add emojis, try and make um, a set of nails that looks really cool and funky for me to recreate and bring to life. So people really did test my patience with this. Um, I had a few of my friends that really went in with the details and explained exactly how they wanted the nails to be. So to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to be doing these on press on nails and not on my own nails, um, just because obviously the nail art takes a few hours and if I had to do um, extensions for every single set, I'd be here for about a week. <laughs> so without further ado, let's head in straight into the first set of nails that I need to recreate. <laughs> Hi. Uh, this is Future George here. This video actually took way longer to film than what I thought it would. So yeah, I'm just gonna be describing to you what I'm doing today. Now we can get right into the video. <laughs> okay, so the first set of today that we'll be doing is from Baked by Loz. This is my cake lady, which actually makes sense to why she wanted me to do these nails. I think they look really cute. Um, so basically she wanted some drips on the tip with sprinkles on the accent fingers. So I like to cover all my press on nails with acrylic. I also do this with my nail orders only because I find them a lot more sturdier and they don't snap and they actually last on your fingers a lot longer. So I'm using the colour Lemon Sorbet from Glitter Bells. It's a very nice pastel yellow and I covered this on all the press on nails as a base. So on two of the accent fingers she designed some sprinkles so to make them look a little bit more jazzy and fun I decided to put some holographic flakes underneath the sprinkles which will just make the nails look a little bit more glittery and I also made sure to make the top coat matte so it makes the holographic look a lot more cool. So I did this, as I said, for both accent fingers. And then on top, I hand painted a few sprinkles. I'm going to be listing down below all the products that I'm using, but I just used four colors from the gel bottle ink for this design. And at the end, when I put all the nails together, it actually reminded me of sprinkles, which I was really chuffed about. And then I know she drew the drip starting from the tip of the nail, but I thought it would look a lot cooler if they started from the cuticle. I prefer it this way, so I decided to go with my own intuition. And I hand painted these again with colour from the gel bottle ink. They're super pigmented, which is what I really like about them. And then I ended up adding a few white details to make them look slightly three-dimensional, which I thought was a really special touch. And this is the completed look. This is definitely one of those sets that stressed me out a little bit because I wasn't sure it was going to look good at the end. But once I placed them on my fingers, I was really happy with the result. So thank you, Lars, for asking me to recreate this design of yours. Okay, so the second set we're going to do today is from my really good friend Molly. Um, she sent in this really cool design. She sp specified that she wanted loads of clouds, lots of gems, and she wanted the whole set to be like a sunset vibe. Um, so let's just get right into it because I actually really like this set. Um, it turned out a lot better than what I thought it would. 
So I applied plush cover from Glitter Bells on three of the fingers and I left two of the fingers clear. So on one of the fingers she designed this three lined colour effect. I think she wanted me to blend them together. So I used a peachy tone, a yellow tone and an orange tone. And I blended them all in with a blending brush. Once I blended all of these colours together I cured it and applied a second coat on top. And this is definitely a very satisfying process to do. When you get the right colours, they blend so nicely together and it actually makes your life a lot easier and you can create so many cool effects with this. I definitely recommend trying this technique if you haven't already. For the other accent finger, she drew some clouds. So I wanted to create like a sunset effect underneath. So I choose a few colours that remind me of a sunset. I applied them in this direction. And then again, with my blending brush, I just blended them all together, but sideways instead of vertically. You can buy this brush from anywhere. Mine is from Born Pretty, um, but I will be linking down below where I got mine from in case you wanted this specific one. Once I was happy with how my ombre was looking, I went ahead and grabbed some white gel polish and applied a few dots in how I wanted my direction of the clouds to go. And with some pure acetone, I just went ahead and with the same brush, I smudged out the uncured colour. This is a really easy technique to do clouds with. It smudges them by itself. You just need a little bit of pure acetone or pure alcohol and it literally makes the result look amazing. For the middle finger, which is one of my favourite ones of this set, I went ahead and painted a tapered triangle French with a peachy tone. And then once I cured two layers of this, I just went ahead and applied some diamond haze. I absolutely went crazy with this nail and I used pink opal and white opal. And this is the ending result. Again, I wasn't sure of these nails as I was doing it, but the diamonds definitely saved the day. They just make the set look so sparkly and fun, um, and the colours just go all really well together. I was super chuffed with these. So thank you, Molly, so much for asking me to do these. Okay, so for my next set, um, my client sent me this picture. She sent me some nails with emojis on top. She said she wanted it to be really Easter vibes. Um, she, that it's all very pink as well, which is really cute. It's very pastel-y pink. Uh, so I decided to recreate my little bunny bum that I did for my Instagram feed um, last year. I thought it would look really cute as she did put a bunny in the picture. I did a lot of three-dimensional um, acrylic designs and I did a few hand-painted designs as well to incorporate the heart so I will talk you through it as I'm doing it. So to stay in the pink theme I decided to use flamingo feather acrylic colour from Glitter Bells as an ombre and I blended it with plush cover which is a nude core powder also from Glitter Bells. This is actually a really easy colour to blend, this pink feathered one. So if you're someone that struggles to blend colours, I definitely recommend this. Like it didn't take me much effort at all. Um, it blends really nicely. I actually can't wait to use it on my clients when we're allowed to open back up again. So I did this design on three nails per hand and I left the other ones just of the nude colour that I used from the cuticle. On the index finger, I 3D sculpted with acrylic these flowers, and on the middle and pinky, I hand painted these really cute hearts to recreate the emoji she asked for. On the thumb, she put an emoji um, that said self love. Um, it was more of a capital letter um, writing, but I wanted it to be more of like a calligraphy, soft flowy um, text so I decided to go off my own head with this and I used the same colours that I used for the hearts just to stay in theme. Um, this is what the ending looked like and then I added a little bit of detail in black to make the writing stand out a little bit more which actually was the cherry on the top because um, I didn't like it how it looked before. <laughs> Now we're going to do my little bunny's bum. As I said, I did this last year for Easter. Loads of people loved it, um, so I definitely wanted to recreate it in this set as she asked for a bunny. I did this with acrylic. I used white acrylic powder from TMBL. It's really, really white, pure white, so I love working with this, and it's really easy to sculpt flowers with as well. This is why I'm using it for this set. And then I did the little tail, very messy, because I wanted to give a bit of a fluffy effect. And for the feet 
um, we need to be working with really dry acrylic otherwise it doesn't um, stay in place so obviously it's not that dry but it has to be on the drier side in order for it to stay up and make it look three dimensional so I did this on both sides and then for the end I did this off camera only because it does take a little bit um, I did the cute little paws I tried to do them in a shape of a heart which I thought was so cute look at that I want to eat them they're so cute um, and yeah this is what the completed result looks like and this is what it looks like on my hands I am obsessed this is probably one of my favorite ones I did but yeah this will also be on my feed on Instagram if you want to go and check it out so thank you Anna for asking me to do these I can't wait to have a catch up when we reopen and then for the last set, last but not least, um, my friend Edie from London sent me these nails. I did um, have a bit of trouble with these because I was a bit like, this is so much, I don't know how I'm going to make all of this look good because there's so many different colours, there's so many different styles. Um, so I had to choose one colour and kind of go from there and try and recreate everything to make it kind of go well together. But she did specify she wanted it to look like a magical tropical rainforest kind of thing which again I thought it would look really nice to be really colourful but I decided to go for like a nude vibe um, and let the nail art speak for itself so um, let's just see how I got on with this one shall we so for the leopard print design, I decided to do a three-dimensional velvet print, which is actually um, a remake of Rosemary Nail Artist on Instagram's nails. She did this, which is where I took inspiration from because I thought it looked so cool. So I started off by painting a black leopard print, and then once I was happy with the placement, I went ahead and kind of smudged up the sides, which makes it look more rustic and more realistic which is such a cool touch like once I've started doing it this way I've not gone back to doing just normal leopard print so once I was happy with how my leopard print was looking I cured it in the lamp for two minutes and went ahead and grabbed my espresso martini from the gel bottle ink which as good as it sounds it's only a gel colour um, and I went ahead and just filled in all the gaps I still wanted the colour underneath to seep through that nice darker brown so I tried to go as close as I could without um, going over too much. So to create this three dimensional velvety effect, it's very textured so if you're someone that likes to touch and play with their nails a lot, I wouldn't recommend this because it can get quite dirty. We don't cure this colour yet, we grab a nude colour acrylic and we just apply it all over the wet gel poly. Once I was happy with how much I've placed, I removed any excess and I cured this in the lamp for 60 seconds. Once it was nice and dry, I then got a brush and removed all the excess powder again. And this is the end result, it's such a cool effect. And then on the index finger, she put a parrot emoji. Um, so I had to try and draw a parrot on this nail. This is actually really cool. It turned out really colourful. So I don't actually show you how I do it. But on the index finger, I did some colours. And I made sure to use a lot of foliage. So that it kind of um, went hand in hand with the parrot. And then once I cured all the colours, I put them under a glossy top coat. And I went in with some sugared white gel polish this is made for three-dimensional designs and I went ahead and did a few little patterns around his face and with some white colored acrylic I did the same as before with the leopard print went over it cured in the lamp removed the excess and it ended up looking really textured and three-dimensional so this is the end result and this is how it ends up looking on my fingers this is again, I've said this for every set, I wasn't happy with these as I was doing it, but when I put them on my fingers, it ended up going all hand in hand. I don't know if I would go for a set like this, um, but I'm sure there's someone out there that would, they're very holiday, tropical vibe. So thank you Edie for asking me to recreate this set. And that is it for today guys. I had so much fun recreating these nail designs. It actually is so artifarty. I love doing these kind of things. 
If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know how you like this video and don't forget to subscribe, it really helps my channel out a lot. And I did have another few friends and clients and followers that sent me in other designs but unfortunately um, I had to choose and I decided to do these ones for this video. So if you did want me to do another one, don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below and you can follow me also on my other social medias. I have a Pinterest board where I save um, designs that I'd like to recreate and I also save my own work for your guys' inspiration if you ever didn't know what to do with your own nails. And I also have a Instagram account where I post daily content or I try to anyway. So yeah, thank you for watching guys.